Maryland's congressional delegation unveiled legislation today that would pay for the reconstruction of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Now, this comes as crews continue to search for the bodies of three victims in the collapse. And we're also getting some new insight into how the public views the response. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren breaks down the new polling numbers. Baltimore City voters gave high marks to how their leaders responded to the Key Bridge disaster, according to a new Goucher banner poll. Goucher College's Malia Cromer. Mayor Brandon Scott, as well as President Joe Biden, both above 60%, which is a really solid sort of standing with the public in terms of response to disaster. 61% say Mayor Scott did a good or excellent job, 15% rated him poor. From the air, I saw the bridge that's been ripped apart. As for the president who visited last week, 62% rated his response good or excellent, 14% poor. I received a briefing from Unified Command. Governor Wes Moore ranked the best, with 74% saying he was good or excellent. Only 7% say he did a poor job. Is it a surprise that the ratings were so favorable for the handling of this disaster? In the face of a national tragedy, you see people come together and sort of support our leadership. But people only do that if they think the leaders are doing a good job. Are you finding most people are optimistic that the bridge will be rebuilt fairly soon? 32% of folks say one to three years. Um, another 39% of folks say four to five years. And then 19% um, of individuals say six to 10 years. How are people saying this will affect them? What you see is around 42% of uh, Baltimore City residents say it's going to be a great deal or some of an impact on my family. Keep in mind, 42% of Baltimore City residents is a lot of individuals. Despite impending severe weather, salvage and recovery efforts continue around the clock. The governor says the timeline to reopen the port by the end of May remains on track. He spoke to the Washington Post today. We have divers, dozens of divers that are still in the water right now doing everything from setting up and, and preparing for the pullouts of steel to being able to look for the, the still three unaccounted for souls. Um, because I am fully committed, we are going to bring closure to these families. Earlier this week, the Sacred Heart of Jesus Church in Highland Town held a memorial to the victims. They will have a funeral mass and vigil Saturday for one of the construction workers who died that fateful morning. Only 4% of poll respondents say it will take more than 10 years to rebuild the Key Bridge, and only 1% say it will never get rebuilt. In Towson, Mike Helgren, WJZ.